Our next guest has been making us laugh on Nickelodeon's reboot of Oh, 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 This Is All That. You should You're welcome. Do, you should do jingles in your next life. But now, Lex Lumpkin is making a pivot from comedy and bringing the drama. Oh, yes. In his new freeform series, mm -hmm. The Watchful Eye. Yeah. The show follows Elena Santos. Uh -huh. You know her? I, I know her, yes. A young woman with a complicated past working as a live-in nanny for an affluent Manhattan Ooh, family. This is close to home. And Lex plays Elliot, a teen who lives in the upscale building where Elena works and quickly forms a friendship with her. Ooh. Let me guess, you're in the 10th grade, you're on the fencing team at school, and your dad's a stockbroker. I'm on the chess team. My dad's a federal public defender, and my mom's an endocrinologist in private practice. Sexist. Touche. Shay on Shay on Shay. Lex Lemkin joins us live Ooh. now. Good morning and welcome to New York Living. Yo, what's hey, up? Hey, look at that. Day. Look at this. Energy. Real talk. If you need someone to do an open, sing an open for you, she's available. I heard it. You was killing it. You was killing it. I, I was like singing that. with you, but y'all couldn't hear me. Y'all couldn't hear me. Wait, oh, you were pumping me up. I love it. Thank she, you. Lex. She does jingles and bar mitzvahs. Listen, we Fire are a little. Well. We are. She doesn't, but it sounded fun. First of all, oh. congratulations <laughs> on everything you've done. Um, you Thank are you. a little more than midway through the season of your new show. Do you pinch yourself? Are you like, what has happened here? What is life? Yeah. Yeah, it's 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 pretty crazy because like while, while you're in it, you know, you, your head's down and you're just like you're running. But once you look up and see, you know, how much you've actually been able to do, it's 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 just it's it's amazing and it's hard to put to words how how happy I am to be able to do what I do. And I'm very blessed and I'm very thankful um, to to everyone who's helped me, especially my family who who, who supported me all along the way. So Such perspective for yeah. such a young age. Yeah. I love to see this. Uh, thank you. Uh, now, talk to us about The Watchful Eye. It is like the show mm -hmm. right now. Yes, it's, okay. it's so dope. And um, I love the mystery of it. And not only does it have an empowering female lead with an axe to grind, but it, it really highlights the differences in socioeconomic mm -hmm. status. And so the meaning of being a have or have not is very clear from the jump, and it becomes an important part of the story as the as the show progresses. It's unbelievable. Where do you shoot this this uh, this show? We shot it in Vancouver, mm -hmm. huh. which is pretty crazy because okay, it was Anna. my first time ever outside of the country. No. Wow. And it, it, it makes me kind of frustrated <laughs> to this day because we were at the uh, we stayed at the extended stay, but like um, <laughs> there was this hotel that that you know whenever someone comes to Vancouver, this is where they stay. Yeah. I forget the name of it, but LeBron James was there. Oh, and LeBron one of my, James! And one of my castmates, they texted me. They was like, "Yo, Legs." They knew I was a fan of LeBron. He's my favorite NBA player, and so they were like, "Yo, Lex, LeBron's at the bar," and it was late at night. So I was no. like, "Girl, you drunk?" I'm gonna go to bed. <laughs> and, then I, and then I woke up the next morning, and guess what I saw on Twitter? LeBron tweeted out, "Thank you for the hospitality, Vancouver," and I was like, "No, no, no. you missed, uh, <laughs> you missed your chance." Yeah, I missed my chance, but, also, but hopefully, but also, eventually you're only I'll see him. You're only 17. Yeah, I don't you think you would have been allowed years. into the bar. No, nah, I wasn't. I was 16 at the time, too, Even, so I was like... Well, what's, I mean, the drinking age in Canada, I don't know uh, if it's the same. I don't know, you Who know. Who knows? Well, listen, uh, gonna, I suspect with your talents, LeBron is going to come find you. He'll be coming to you, yeah. a production company, so... Oh, yeah, he does. Yeah, yeah. So. Talk to us about your craft. Did you always know you wanted to act? Because I know you also play piano. You also mm -hmm. write. I've also, like, yeah, something that's very important to me as a creator is to be... Um, is to be multifaceted. Mm -hmm. And I've always loved creating, and whether that's, you know, stop motion videos when I was a kid, little Nerf gun battles with my brother, <laughs> anything anything that had to do with recording and, and putting something together and being creative is something that I've loved to do. And, and I've always loved writing. Um, I even wrote and directed and produced my own short film that's mm -hmm. won um, four awards. And it's called The, the, the Hidden Truth. Mm -hmm. And... It's it follows a young kid who watched his best friend die in a car accident, and it really follows, you know, um, that his his survivor's remorse, teen depression, drug mm -hmm. abuse, and suicide, and it's something that you know I felt needed to be talked about more because it's something that everyone deals with. Sure. 
And it's interesting and, that you and, bring yeah. this up because yesterday we right. we took a, a moment and a pause to recognize World Teen Mental Wellness Day. And as mm -hmm. you mentioned, everyone is going through some form of mm -hmm. something, especially the youth. And I wonder if you could talk to the youth right now and what message would you give them? Because as, as you said, everyone has their own walk. Everyone's going through their, un exactly. their own struggle. So what would you tell them? I say just because mental health isn't as obvious as physical health doesn't mean it's just as important. And if you were really going through something and, and, you, and you really need to get it off your chest, it's okay to reach out to the people that you trust. And, and for people that are the, the trusted person, if someone's trying to come to you, listen without judgment. And I, and I say that's the, the most important part, that, and to let them know that they are not alone. Yeah. Where does this, where does this, I mean, you have such wonderful awareness. For, again, we keep talking about how young you are. Where does this come from? And where, like, you made this incredible film, and it's so important. It's so relevant. Where, where do Thank we you. draw this inspiration from? Or is this something that in your life that happened or just something you've seen, someone you know? Uh, where is this all well, you know, we, we all know people that have, have gone through this. And, and, and I'll just say 2020 was a rough time mm. for everybody. And it really brought to my awareness that this is something that a lot of my peers are dealing with. And the second leading cause uh, of, de of death for people ages 15 through 24 is suicide. Mm -hmm. and, so, um, and, and so I wanted to make sure that I, I could bring as much awareness to this as possible because it, 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 it felt really important to me. Sure. And, and and I really think this film does that. I think it's also impactful that you are, these are your peers, mm -hmm. you're speaking to your peers, and I think it's so, so the, the message I think resonates more. It, exactly. And you feel like it's coming from one of your own. And not being told to you. Quick turn, so this show, pretty dark and dramatic, but you also do comedy. Boom, boom. Do you yes, like ma'am, I write sketches, uh, I do stand-up com comedy, and, you know, the, the, one of the things that really brought me to this show is the drama of it. Because oh. as an actor, I, I wanted to be able to flex in both the comic mm -hmm. and, and drama, drama genres. And so this show really gives me a chance to do that. Because on all that, you know, we had a, a live audience and we had mm -hmm. to bring the energy every week yes. and we had to feed off the audience. And it was so much fun. But for this show, I really have to focus on delivering a more grounded and natural mm -hmm. performance. And, and yeah. It's, it's pretty oh, awesome. Yeah. Wow, you are a man of many hats, my friend. He and is, and <laughs> all the things. You are all that. Mm -hmm. And a bag with tissue. <laughs> it was... <laughs> oh, and I'm, you heard it here first. LeBron's gonna find you. Trust me. We gonna, we, one day. But also, when that girl tells you LeBron's at the, at the, at the bar, run, run, don't walk. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> run, don't, don't yeah. walk. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Life what? lessons. Yeah, I'm going to be up in there like road runner. You ain't going to see my leg. That's a road like, runner. You know what I mean? It's going to go crazy. <laughs> Lex Lumpkin, congratulations. Thank you so much oh, for joining us. Oh, we love us. you. You can watch new episodes Thank of you. The Watchful Eye Monday nights at 10 p.m. on Freeform. You can also 